Okay, so in this video, we are looking at this viral problem, 48 divided by 2, 9 plus 3. Um, there is a lot of discussion about this question, and uh, we have seen this type of problem before. Uh, in fact, it is analogous to the problem 6 over 2, 1 plus 2, for which I also have uh, videos on my channel. Okay, so generally we are seeing two answers. So let's see what my calculator gives. Okay, so uh, with this calculator, I'm getting uh, 288. Um, I have another calculator, so uh, let me just check that. Okay, so um, we get two. Um, so we can see that uh, the two calculators disagree. So why does this happen? Uh, we will get into that uh, later. Okay, first, let us try to evaluate this in the way most people seem to be doing it, that is using the convention of uh, BODMAS or PEMDAS. Uh, the first stage says brackets or parentheses, and this leaves us with 48 divided by 2 times 12. At this stage, BODMAS may suggest division first, and PEMDAS may suggest multiplication first. However, the consensus is if you have operations of the same precedence, you go from left to right. So um, using this, we get 24 times 12 is equal to 288. So is this correct? Well, no, this is convention. And we know from history, conventions change over time. For example, uh, a long time ago, this division sign meant everything on the left divided by everything on the right. But of course, uh, we do not use this convention anymore. So I'm, you know, I'm just going to give you a, a couple of examples. Okay, so um, take uh, x divided by 4a. I'm sure most of us would see this as x over 4a. However, using the BODMAS PEMDAS convention, which insists we go left to right, as we can see there are uh, two operations uh, of the same precedence. Uh, in that case, we get ax over 4, like so, and because we would do the division first using that convention and that will result in AX over 4. Um, uh, another example is, um, you know, consider this, if you have AB divided by X, Y, Z, um, we, you know, again, I'm sure we would all see this as AB over X, Y, Z, but using the BODMAS PEMDAS convention, um, we would get this, um, we would go from left to right because these are all operations of the same precedence and then you would uh, do this division after you've done this multiplication here and you'd end up with this term here which is ABYZ over X. So you can see at times this convention fails because it raises ambiguous terms and that is why we never see this type of notation in, in high level mathematics. Um, consider this uh, this indefinite uh, integral. Uh, it makes no sense at all. Um, however, if you rewrite this um, without the division sign, we can see that it makes sense and we can go ahead and use uh, integration via substitution to evaluate this, uh, this indefinite integral. So, what does higher level mathematics say about this? Division at higher level is defined by the multiplicative inverse which means in fact division and multiplication have the exact same precedence but more crucially division is a mathematical operator um, very loosely an operation means two and only two objects combined in some way to form one object um, for example um, consider um, this ex uh, you know three plus four this is an addition and it's equal to 7. Um, 3 and 4 go in and 7 comes out. So only two things can go in. So if we try to adhere to this strict principle with our question where all the operations are clearly defined and in pairs, we get this. Uh, firstly, we notice that using so many brackets makes things incredibly tedious. Uh, which is why we have conventions to make our lives easier. Um, secondly, to be mathematically correct, the question should have been presented in one of these two ways, as the original statement cannot be valid due to ambiguity. 
So essentially, from a, a mathematical standpoint, the original question is not properly defined, uh, which is why we are seeing ambiguity and we are not allowed to have ambiguous statements in mathematics. Therefore, the correct answer is no solution. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.